What's happening boys and girls? I am the Anthro Metal and this is Today in Gaming, your one-stop source for all the gaming news cultivated from around the wide, wide world of the internet. So, yesterday was like an Xbox day, today is going to be a little bit PlayStation heavy for you, so just bear with me for a little bit there and we can get right on to everything. I hope you are having a wonderful Wednesday, that's a word that I can use there and I, have from my, I might have used it before. Anyways, let's just go ahead and get into the news, shall we? So first thing is that Crash Bandicoot the Insane Trilogy, which is the whole remaster, and it looks like it's actually not just a remaster, like a complete remake from the ground up of the original three Crash Bandicoot games that were released way back in the mid-90s for the PlayStation. Not the mid-90s, that's, uh, no, that would be right, right? Uh, late 90s, maybe, somewhere around there. Anyways, uh, they it may not be a PlayStation exclusive, but it is going to be a timed exclusive if one Hungarian retailer is to be believed. The Hungarian retailer in question showed a listing for an Xbox One version with a re with a release date of December 8th of this year. Now, the PlayStation 4 release date, it will be available on June 30th, which is this Friday. So, does this mean it's actually coming? Sometimes retailers just use this as a placeholder. They just put a, you know, like a thing up saying, hey, this is here to hold a place for it. It may not actually get that, but it's the only source we have so far. Just look for it in the future in the, to see if that actually does get confirmed. It's, it's probably pretty likely. This wouldn't be the first time Crash has been on a console other than the PlayStation. Back in the early 2000s, he was actually on the, uh, the original Xbox, not the Xbox One, the original Xbox OG, Xbox, Xbox OG, Expo, Expoji, whatever. And so it wouldn't be the first time we see him there. It originally was just a Naughty Dog project and now it got released to other developers back then i don't know if this is still an Dog project or uh, a property but we'll see about it. it and i mean i i would be ecstatic if that happened because um i mean i don't currently own a ps4 as of yet don't hold that against me please <laughs> so being primarily an xbox owner it would be awesome to see that come there so i could relive some of my childhood and playing through those games so moving on, the next story we're going to talk about is Limbo and Inside, the games by, I believe it's Play Dead, the kind of creepy, very atmospheric side-scrollers, are actually getting a dual-pack combo release, retail version, physical disc that's coming out, that was a mouthful, coming out uh, later this year. And uh, so it'll you'll be able to find that, I believe they said it would be $30 for both games combined. You'll be able to find that at your stores, and it'll probably end up being sold online as well as a, two, uh, a twofer. So it'll be just... Be on the lookout for those. They're tremendous games, fantastic. Kind of really redefined a lot of uh, puzzle platforming at the at the time. So just be on the lookout. Then next thing is we the PS Plus titles got the PlayStation Plus that is got announced for July. God, I, <laughs> I was playing with my dog earlier. I'm all sweaty. I'm sorry and tired. <laughs> so anyways, they got announced for July, and it's a pretty good lineup. Uh, headlined by Until Dawn. And if you don't remember Until Dawn, it released last year. It's basically like the horror movie simulator. It's actually really, really cool in how they did it. And, like, each character has, like, relationships with other ones. And you play as different ones. And if they die, then they're dead. And you have to keep going until you finish the story. And at the end of the story, it tells you how you did. It's, like, kind of a clue-based game. Real real creepy, real fun. And I've watched plenty of people play. And it's everybody has a different path. It's really fun. And I highly suggest you you check it out uh, when it comes available later on. Uh, the next one for the PS4 is release is going to be Telltale's Game of Thrones series. And it's the first season. I can't tell you much about it because I haven't played it yet. I've heard good things and it's Telltale. They always do a pretty good job with these games. So make sure to check that one out as well. The two PS3 titles that are coming out are going to be Tokyo Jungle and Darkstalkers Resurrection. I don't know too much about those. I'm sorry. But I, I have heard those names before, just I, I have no context to base it on. Sorry about that. The last two are going to be for the Vita. The, and one of them is Element 41. And the last one is Don't Die, Mr. Robot. That's actually cross by with the PS4 or cross play with the PS4. So those are your games for the PlayStation Plus for the month of July. And that actually just about does it. So did I miss anything today? Is there any other story that you saw that I should have covered? Please let me know in the comments below as well as leave a like if you liked what I said. If you liked anything I talked about today or dislike it. If you knew everything already and you think I'm a douche, I appreciate it. <laughs> so it's been real, y'all. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you did, please subscribe, of course, and share this video if you can. 
I really do appreciate everything that you do for me in regards to that. I've been the Anthem Metal. This has been Today in Gaming, your daily dose of gaming news, and I will see you tomorrow.